start work on, on any assignment, the first thing you should do is go into that assignment. And I would read what is here first and understand your specs. So right now I know that I'm creating a sticker design that I'm going to be using color swatches and cut contour. So I know right away I'm going to have to figure out what color swatches is and what a cut contour is. So at the end of the project, what needs to be uploaded is sketches. You need to have at least three different um, three different designs, and then you're going to take your best design and make it a one color, two color, and three color. So that's three different files. You're going to have to save them three different times and uh, make sure that they're all PDF files. So the two other stickers just needs to be one color and you need to use a color swatch with those. You don't need to make it three colors. So just one color using the color swatch. I would come in here and the first thing I would do is go into your assignment sheet. And if you need to take notes, I would take notes as you're doing your sketches. So right now I know that I'm creating five different stickers. So these will be one because it's one color two color and three color. When you do your sketches for these colored ones, you need to go over to the wall and make sure that you, you jot down what color scheme you're using. So if you go over to the wall, there is a color chart. And on the color chart, you would see a number like this. What I need is the DP11D of that color. So make sure that you jot down your color swatch from the chart near the printer okay so you need you know right away it's four by four uh five different stickers this these count as three one color two color three color count as three and then i have listed here what is needed so then your two one color could be your last two this person here created an extra color. So the one color is just the black, two colors the black, and introduce the next color. Then you have the shirt color, and on this one, there is a shirt color, and then the hair color is different than the skin color, so that would be a four color. You have the black um, skin tone, shirt, and then hair. You have to upload your sketches along with the one you use that has the different color swatches listed. Here are some examples. Make sure you're looking at the rubric before you upload the requirements um, from the, the requirements up here on the first page. You need to make sure that's four by four. You have your die cut lines, which is the line that is pink around the sticker. And I have a video on the assignment that shows you how to create that die cut line. Um, you're going to make sure that you have that because if it's not done correctly and it will not cut, you will not get credit for this section here. So creativity, I need to make sure that you guys are doing your best and getting, I know you, you can do things like this. I just need to see the detail within your stickers. You know, the little details, I need to see those, those details to get creative. The use of class time, make sure you use your time wisely. And the, the, the one thing that I really want to focus on is professionalism. Making sure you're here, you're in the classroom, you're doing the work, you're not coming in with a hat on, you're not coming in and just spending the whole class doing your sketch of the day. That should only take the beginning of class. And if you're running out of time, on the assignment. Um, this, this assignment is going to be um, way more than enough time. I think this is probably for everyone who was here last year. I know that they could finish this within, within three or four days. If it's taking more than that, then um, we're taking a little bit too long. This is our fourth illustrator assignment. So I think that um, 
we should be able to make the deadline easily.